edition, certified awesome blossoms of October. I think I have somebody that has something to say about it. That's how psychic she is about our product line. Let's show you what we have in store. Boo! Got you again, didn't I? Again, fans, we can't wait to show you this product showcase. Hold on to your seats. It's going to be a scary one. First, we have here in some vases on display. One of my favorites here performing in a vase is a brand new rose called Tabasco. This rose comes from a top line grower for us, uh, just somebody really reliable. And as you can see in the stems here, we got some really long, thick, sturdy stems, and this head size in comparison to my hand is incredible. Um, reminds me a little bit of an ambiance rose, but it's got a little spice to it. Pumpkin trees here, these are really cute. A lot of people don't actually know this. These physically look like little pumpkins hanging off an ornamental stick, but they're actually tomatoes. They're immature tomatoes, a form of tomato. I'm not sure I'd eat them, but I would use them in floral arrangements. Chili peppers, again, something I wouldn't so much eat, but I would definitely do a display with them. I actually have a customer that we're doing a chili cook-off display next month, so we've got chili peppers all over the table. It's gonna be a great fun time. Um, pomegranates on a stem. These are really, really fun. Um, hate to be a repeater of everything, but again, don't eat these. These are just fun ornamental pomegranates here. And I do want you to know when you're buying these from your local locations or your shipping sales reps to know that it is a product that's going to really be natural in itself. You can see here how it's cracked open. Um, can you imagine just how pretty this would be on a, on a table arrangement or a display? Next, I don't know if you guys are ready for this one. This one really creaked me out when we got it last week for the first time for the season. These are actually called Datura Lipstick Pods. And we'll give you a little bit of a close-up here at the end, but these are really, really cool. It's coral in color, also can read a little bit of red, but as you can imagine how much fun you can have with these. When you talk unusual and unique, here it is, guys. Datura Lipstick Pods. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and set that one down behind there. We have just an array of different coxcombs. Coxcombs are coming in all different colors and shapes. You've got your brain coxcomb that we have here. You also have your feather coxcomb. And uh, fun to play with is the, the wheat celosia coxcomb, the one that sprays out a little bit more. And it really is intense in color. So these are great splashes for uh, your fall arrangements to bring in those different shades of oranges, reds, corals, all that good stuff. Down here below, we have squill. Now everybody's kind of upset about Aramaris going out of season. Guess what we have? We have squill, and doesn't that look like so much Aramaris? It kind of reminds me a little bit of a, of a cat's tail here. Um, they bloom all the way up into the top. They're just a great white accent, and you can see how tall they are. We've cut them a little down for the vase, but they're definitely going to be a little bit taller when you get them in as your first shipment. Sumatra Oriental Lilies, I thought that would be great for the October edition for all these juicy jewel tones. You're looking at nice, rich burgundy. A lot of people can really pull this into purple palettes, so you really have to have fun with it. I mean, purple... Oriental lilies are hard to come by. Burgundy, purplish. There you go. Nice, good quality, too. Great grower on those as well. On this second table of display, we have uh, snowberries for the season coming in white and pink. Snowberries are one of those, um, what would you call them? Maintenance flowers, I suppose, is what you would call them. You never want to expect that every berry is going to come in here with no flaws. Um, there are going to be a little bit of imperfections on the actual berries themselves, but that's what makes them so beautiful and so vintage is um, it looks like they're cut literally out of the garden, so that's fun to have around um, in the shop or for your event design. Amarantha Separate, we showcased this last month, but I just um, really felt it fun because it takes up a lot of space. When you guys are talking about working with budgets and having a high impact design, these upright amaranthus really are going to help you with that. Really inexpensive, five, five stem bunches, ten stem bunches, and um, just good, good visual impact. Dahlias right here. I know we've been really showcasing dahlias month to month, but uh, dahlias are just such a happy, happy flower and a, a major focal. You can see here, these are the dinner plate dahlias. And again, compared to my hand, you can see how large they are. These are more of the novelty dahlias, but these are more of the ball dahlias that are going to be a little bit of a tighter uniform. I do want to tell our viewers, in hydrating dinner plate dahlias, you want to, we've been doing some tests here, and we've really found um, in working with the growers that if you do full um, buckets when you get them in, hot, hot water, give them a fresh cut, the stems are really thick and they get a lot of air bubbles. So by using that hot water, it pushes the air bubbles through so that the dahlias can hydrate. Only on the dinner plate dahlias use that method. The um, standard dahlias, just go ahead and use your regular hydrating methods. Once that water room tempers, throw it in the cooler and your dahlias are going to be back to life. Hoo, hoo, hoo. 
clematis. We have clematis here. And um, I was actually really amazed by this little flower. You can see how little and dainty it looks, and you think, oh, no, this isn't going to last very long. Um, we ran a vase test on it here in the, in the warehouse, and it lasted on our desks in a hot office environment for over three weeks. Um, it was the flower that just kept going. So you can trust your clematis, buy it, love it, and really enjoy it. More fruits, persimmons on the branch. Again, just a really nice, cool effect. Um, we have pyrocantha here, pyrocantha orange. Um, you can see it, it speaks for itself. Just good branchy material, nice and tall. And uh, lastly, kangaroo paw. Kangaroo paw is just a fun, fun little thing. You can see all the character on it. It literally looks like claws. It uh, goes with our Halloween edition here for you guys. And I have one bonus feature. This one's really going to creep you out. This is our heliconia hanging. And you can see how unusual this is. This is hanging red heliconia. It's called Shi Kong. Shi Kong, hairy heliconia. Make sure to ask for it. It's really going to give your clients something to talk about. Thank you for stopping in for October edition. This is Charity Weinshank from our shipping division thanking you all for your support.